With Virtual Field, you can test wirelessly from any room in your office. In order to do this, it's important that you have a protocol in place to keep the device charged. First, make sure your charger is plugged into a wall outlet and not a computer or laptop. Push the charger into the headset until you hear an audible click. If you don't plug the charging cable all the way into the device, it might charge too slowly or not at all. Second, we recommend that all practices charge their devices overnight. You should also charge your device over the weekend so that you're ready to start testing on Monday morning. Before charging overnight, turn your device all the way off by holding the power button down for five seconds. This ensures that your device will charge as fast as possible. Third, you should also charge your device in between exams. In the rare case that you are running so many tests that charging overnight and in between tests is not enough, you can also use the included 10-foot cable to charge during an exam. Visual field tests are very power intensive. When the test is running, your device's battery will decrease faster than when it is put to sleep or turned off. Even when the device is asleep, it may lose a few percentage points of battery every few hours. For that reason, if you're not planning to use the device for several hours, we recommend holding the power button down to turn the device all the way off. The battery status for your device is shown on the progress page while the exam is running. It is important to keep the headset charged above 20% at all times so that it does not run out of battery during an exam. If the headset is below 20%, an alert will display on the progress page to notify you that the device should be plugged in. Like the virtual field headset, the controller's battery depends on your usage. If you do tests infrequently, like once or twice a week, then your batteries may last for a few weeks. If you do tests more frequently, then you may need to change your batteries more frequently. The controller takes two AAA batteries. You have the option of either using standard alkaline batteries or the rechargeable batteries that we include in the case with your device. The type of battery you choose depends on how much you use your device. Alkaline batteries last longer, but could cost more to replace. Rechargeable batteries do not last as long, but cost less money in the long run. We recommend using alkaline batteries if you use your device infrequently, and rechargeable batteries if you use your device every day. If you use rechargeable batteries, the recommended protocol is, first, put two batteries in the controller and two on the charger. Then, every two to three days, swap the batteries in the charger with the batteries on the controller before you begin testing. Thank you for taking the time to learn about your virtual field device. We look forward to working with you. Thank you.